variable ROI. NSX, a little not so obvious because there's a fair amount spent on hardware, and the chart sort of looks like this. Mostly, and this is on the left-hand side, a OPEX mostly driven by a little bit of server virtualization and a network-driven architecture. What we're doing is not coming here saying you need to rip out your existing hardware, whether it's Cisco, Juniper, or Arista. You get more value out of that, or more value potentially out of your Palo Alto or load balancing capabilities. But what we're saying is you can extend the life, optimize your underlay, and invest more in your overlay. And we're going to start doing more in software, all the way from the L4, the L7 stack, uh, firewalling, uh, application controllers, uh, and make that in networking stack application aware. And we can dramatically help you reduce that. At the core of that is an investment in hypercurrent infrastructure. We find often investments like vSAN could trigger um, the investments in NSX. We have ROI tools that will help you make that even more dramatic. 